Hi, welcome back to another episode of Nexus Core. I'm Richard, and I'm going to be showing you my updated Gansalot Alt Mile Hybrid deck profile. So this is before the next stage booster comes out. Uh, so it's basically encompassing past support along with the new Alt Mile Trial deck. So I'm just going to jump right into it so you guys can see what I got for you. So the starter, it can either be Milius or whichever one you want, standard. So I have Glime. It's the shiny Glime. It's when you ride on it, you draw, and then you also get a quick shield, because that's a thing, you know, if your opponent's at grade one, basically if you're going second, you get a quick shield, so. That's for all the starters, not just the new ones. All right, next up, we're going right off into grade threes. Four copies of Solitary Knight Gancelot, and we are doing Gancelot because it's a Gancelot deck, you know? <laughs> so, uh, Gancelot's skill, uh, four all your blaster blades to get 10k passively from Vanner Rearguard Circle. And then the other skill is when your opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, uh, your front row blaster blade circles become Vanguard Circles. So then your blaster blades get their Vanguard skill and they also get the t t to drive check. So three drive checks in a turn is pretty cool. So that's kind of the focus of the deck. Uh, lastly, for the grade threes. Only running two copies of Alt Mile because you don't really want, want to write Alt Mile, but it's just there as a beat stick and also as a grade two searcher. Uh, so it's a pretty good alternative to, to Gancelot. <laughs> I almost said alternative to Alt Mile. So it's uh, during your turn, if you have no face up damage, he gets 15k. So he's a 28k beater. So that's pretty dope. Um, the other skill is Vanguard Circle once per turn, Cannon Blast one, discard a card from your hand, search a two grade twos, reveal them, put them in your hand, and you shuffle your deck. So this is good for searching out your Blaster Blades, your Gordons, your uh, Liveros. Those are the prime examples of what you're basically going to be searching out. But yeah, so um, it's mostly there to kind of be a late game beat stick on the rear guard circle if your Vanguard's already danced a lot. But it can also make do as a good, uh, you know, early game, you know, searching out cards as well type of, type of grade three. Next up, uh, four copies of our MVP of the deck, which is Blaster Blade. So Blaster Blade's skill is if you have four or more rear guards, uh, Vanguard Circle only, he gets an extra crit. And then um, when you place Vanner rear, you can counter blast one, soul blast one, and you retire one of your opponent's front row rear guards. So that's helpful because you want to be paying counter blast for Alt Miles skill to make him a beat stick. You might want to get rid of an annoying rear guard so your opponent can't intercept, trying to push for game, but mostly you're just kind of keeping it there for the Blaster Blade name, having it on your rear guard slash other vanguard circle with Gancelot skill, swing, get a drive check and a crit if you can, kind of push in that way. So that's it for Blaster Blade. Next up is our next MVP, because that's a thing, you can have two MVPs. Um, you have four copies of Absolute Blade Knight Livero. So Livero is important because it's one of the most versatile cards that I've ever seen in this game, meaning that it's a card that lets you pay alternative costs. So if you can't pay one, you can pay the other. So its skill is when it's placed from hand, you kind of blast one, search your deck for a grade two, and call it. It has to be called to an open rear though. If you, can, if you don't have any face up damage, uh, you can pay a soul blast instead. So the reason I really like this card is you can combo it off with Marin, you can combo it off with Alt Mile, but by paying that one counter blast and then you can call this afterwards, use a soul blast instead to call another grade two. Um, it searches out Gordon if you want to have a booster behind Blaster Blade and it just helps fill your board really easily because you can pay soul instead of counter blast. So, you know, there's plenty of soul you can work with in this deck too. And you're only running four copies, so you don't, and this is the only card besides Blaster Blade that basically soul blasts. And I mean, other than Felix, Felix is in this deck too, but there are ways to go around managing your soul, so there's no real issue with over soul blasting in the deck. Next up for grade twos, I decided I'm going to be running three copies of Knight of Truth Gordon. So Gordon's skill is during your turn all your blaster blades get 5k, and uh, all the blaster blades in the same column as this, um, you can boost using Gordon. So Bare numbers alone, if you have Blast Blade in front of it, it's a 25k column with a force marker, it can be 35. So it gets, gets to be a pretty, pretty big number. Um, on top of the fact that Blast Blade already has the 10k from Gancelot, making it 35, force marker 45. So 
having access to Gordon can help you make those blast blade columns big. Uh, it's easy to, easy to find because of Libero, but if you can't draw into Libero, you know, you can just call it from hand. So it's also good as just a front row card because it gives all your blaster blades 5k. So just have it on the board somewhere and a blaster blade gets an additional 5k. So definitely want to have Gordon there for that power boost. Next up, I'm running three copies of Loading Angel. Loading Angel is there to basically fill your board so you can have that fifth uh, unit. So we have that full board so Blast Blade can get that extra crit when it swings. Um, it also, just drawing cards is really good in general. So what uh, Loading Angel does is at the end of the turn, if you have five or more units, you can have less one, move to soul, draw two cards. So really good early game. You just plop it down, you can draw cards afterwards. Um, you don't have to really worry about too much with the with the counterblast spending, since you know you have cards like Livarlo to search out Blaster Blade if you need to get more Blaster Blades. So you don't really have to worry about the counterblast for that. Your Grade Threes that you're sitting on, which is Genslot, doesn't use counterblast for any of its skills, so you can just use them up. You know, so three Loading Angel, get those draws, get those bonuses. I decided to run one copy of Great Sage Baron. So Baron's skill is when your other unit attacks, you can give it 5k. Uh, and then if the unit that got 5k is a grade three or greater, you can kind of blast one, retire this, and it gets an extra crit. So that's good to give on your Vanguard for Gantzlot. It can be really good for Alt Mile if Alt Mile already has that extra power bonus from having no face up damage. And then it's just a 5k booster anywhere you put it. You can just put it you know, behind your Vanguard circle when your Vanguard attacks, you can just declare giving 5 to Van, you know? You can give 5 to your Blaster Blade, or wherever you feel like you might need it, you can just plop this down and you just get 5k, and you can give a crit if it's a grade 3. And then you can search it out with Libero, so deck thinning, it's a pretty decent tech, so I like, I like running the card. Next up, that was it for the grade 2s, so we're going right off to grade 1s. We got 4 copies of Little Great Sage, or sorry, Little Sage Marin. Uh, Little Sage Marin's skill is uh, rear guard once per turn. When your other unit is placed in the same column, you kind of blast one, draw a card, this gets 3k. So the main obvious thing with this is your supplicity of one face up damage. You plop down Marin, you plop down Livaro, you pay the counter blast, use Marin's skill, you draw a card. Since you have no face up damage, you can then use the other skill which is for soul blasting to search your grade two instead of using the counter blast. If you do it the other way around, obviously you won't get the draw. So because order <laughs> is a thing in Vanguard that you can pick what you want to do if they happen at the same time, you can do Marin first, counter blast, then choose you to do soul blast for Libero. So that's a basically a main combo you're gonna end, you're probably gonna see yourself doing if you're gonna play this deck. So that's why I wanted to run for Marin so that I can guarantee that I can do that play. Um, next up for the grade ones, got three copies of Lunar Crescent Knight Felix, which was in the trial deck. So the reason I'm running Felix in this deck is because it's just a pretty dang good skill. Um, when it attacks or boosts, you soul bless one, bounce another rear guard in another column back to your hand. So return it back to your hand. And this gets 5k. So the main things that you're probably going to be returning are you can return your grade ones in your other column like Marin. And then you can have you know have that in your hand for that 10k shield just as a you know shield. Uh, you can bounce back your Tristans, which I'm going to be showing in a minute. Uh, which you know you can bounce those back for shield. Uh, you can call a trigger just to fill your board. Soul Blast one, bounce the trigger back, uh, so that way you can give Blast Blade the crit, and then you can get that trigger back in your hand. So it's just a free bounce and a free you know power up. Free meaning like soul isn't really that big of a cost in this deck, so not wasting your count blast is really important for this deck. Alright, now I'm going to show Tristan, which I run three copies of. So Knight of the Harp, Tristan. So Tristan's skill is basically just if you have a grade 3 vanguard, when you call it, use count blast 1, search for blast blade, you put it in your hand. So easy, the deck revolves around blast blade, there's you know no doubt why you want to be running this card. Um, uh, kind of just self-explanatory there. Uh, yeah, running three, just so you can see it more often, because you want to have that blaster blade, just get that extra drive check off. 
Lastly, for grade ones, I am running two copies of um, Synilgus. I'm not running the promo Cloud Lancer, whatever it's called, Gamoris or something. Uh, if I did have it, I would be running it. But, you know, it comes out in the Majesty Lord deck thing, so I'll get it eventually. Right now, I don't have it, so I'm running this. So this card is when it attacks or boosts, if you have a grade three Vanguard or greater, uh, so I lost one against 10k. So similar to Felix, but just more power. You know, and you can you can mess with Soul in this deck. Uh, this is mostly kind of just filler for the most part. I would be running Cloud Lancer, obviously, to recycle grade twos. Um, but this is still a pretty good alternative, just that extra power. So that was it for the non-trigger units. So going right into it, it's just gonna be your standard old eight crit four draw deck. So for me, I got my one shiny Flogel, I got my Eponas, and I got my Luz because, you know, I like to mix it up a bit. So, eight critical triggers. Next up, you got your four Flash Shield Esol Draw PGs, because Draw PGs are really good, because it's a PG and it's a trigger that gets you more draws. So, Draw PGs, man. Sentinels are cool. When you place them from your hand, Units cannot be hit until the end of that battle. Last but not least, your four copies of your heal triggers of your choice that are allowed in standard. So for me, it's Elaine. Um, the horse is cool, but I like it's a cancel odd deck. You gotta keep the uh, the OG Royal Paladin aesthetic. So that was basically it for the main deck to kind of explain how I basically play this deck is for early game, if I'm going to be, uh, you know, writing cards, the typical thing I would want to ride would probably just be the Livero, just so I can counter blast, search out the Blaster Blade for the next turn, maybe put it back here, depending on my matchup. If playing against something like Narukami, that's probably not the play to go. Um, any other thing that doesn't pop your board, have Blaster Blade set up for the next turn, since you're just going to play this for cost anyways swing early game or if you want to you can go the aggro way you ride the blaster blade you call the liver row you use liver row to search out something like baron and then you know you call two more cards from your hand you get that extra aggro off and then you know you just go to town with that extra crit on that vanguard circle with minimal cost hopefully uh, the other obvious thing that you're supposed to do is if you rode blaster blade you called Marin, you called Livero, you kind of blasted, you drew a card, you use Livero's skill to search out that grade two, and then maybe the card you drew is something that you can use to be aggressive with, maybe it's a Cloud Lancer, now you have your four rear guards, and boom, you, you basically used, you know, two cards, a counter blast, and then if you drew that off your draw, that was basically the cost for you to set up this board on top of you writing. So that's an early game play. Um, if you're going to be on your main boss, which is going to be your Gancelot, there he is. Um, typical thing you're obviously going to be doing is you're going to figure out a way to get that Blast Blade out, whether it's either calling a Livero or using um, Tristan. Uh, if you already use Tristan, you can just use Livero to search out a Gordon. Put a Gordon in the same column, and then you swing, and then you got a pretty big column right there. Um, after all of your Liveros have, are dead, um, you know, you got your alt miles, your backup grade three that you can use to swing as a beat stick. Um, if you are forced to ride alt mile, the main things I would search would off for be things like um, Liveros just for searching, um, loading angel just to draw cards so that at the end of the turn you can kind of blast to draw two cards, and um, yeah, that would basically, that would basically be if I was forced to ride alt mile. Those would be the two that I would go for. Um, you don't want to be stuck on op mile for obvious reasons, not the focus of this deck, but that extra 15k that it does get while your counter blasts are used up can make a really, really big push against your opponent. Uh, I definitely think this is a force one deck, but if you really, really wanted to be aggressive, you can play force two because you do have cards like this, like Synilgus, I'm gonna say it's pronounced. Uh, if you put this behind your Vanguard circle, that 21 column just becomes 31, so if you have force two on top of this, a 31 with two crit consistently every turn can make a difference. Uh, if you can't pay that cost, you know, 
just having blaster blade on that extra rear guard circle with that extra crit, you know, can push your opponent and, you know, make them guard heavy. But I do think this is more of a force one focus deck. Uh, so that was it for the deck profile. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you all in hopefully the next video. Uh, I'm Richard, and I'll see you all next time.